Hello, Pirigi here. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to bootstrap a SaaS or tech app from scratch. I'm going to focus on the design aspect. Since uh, I myself have been a designer for the past uh, 10 years, uh, working with uh, a lot of different startups uh, and uh, even large enterprises, including Fortune 500 companies. And after being in this field for a while, I noticed some patterns. And uh, again, I'm going to focus only on uh, what it takes to build up the app from a design also a little bit development perspective so that is going to be the core focus of this video so the very first thing that i noticed is that there are different phases so for example in phase one whenever you're starting your and creating your mvp the very most important thing to keep in mind is to be cost effective, especially if you don't have an initial seed round of funding or you don't have much money to invest in the company. Uh, when it comes to the design, my very best recommendation is to just uh, uh, bootstrap it as much as possible. One thing that I would definitely recommend you to check out is UI kits and potentially UI kits with also the coded version. So. A great example of this is Tailwind. Uh, if you're building an app, uh, that can be a good foundation, but there's many more around. And uh, also another thing to keep in mind is whenever you're dealing with uh, the creation of uh, uh, the logo, for example, or social media posts, uh, and uh, basically all the collaterals, which uh, you're probably going to need uh, at some point, even in the early stages, I would recommend you to just learn uh, Canva, which is uh, uh, essentially a software which enables you to design uh, um, in a, a pretty easy way. So <clears throat> this will be for phase one. And these resources can be really useful whenever you're in phase one, if you want to kickstart with uh, zero money or almost zero money. Now, another thing that you can consider is uh, maybe a higher um, by the hour, a junior designer or uh, an intern. So someone who wants to <clears throat> basically populate his portfolio with some projects and uh, that can definitely help you kickstart uh, a project. But just, of course, don't have high expectations uh, since uh, you're not uh, going to have the same uh, experience uh, of uh, a senior designer, for example. So this would be initially what uh, I would personally recommend if you're uh, in the MVP stage, once you start having some traction or some cash flow, or you received the, the first round of funding, I would highly recommend you to kind of take a step and revisit what you already done in phase one, since what took you there isn't necessarily going to bring you to the next level. So at this point, phase two, still you don't want to maybe like hire a designer at a six figure salary. Uh, depending, of course, on uh, on the situation uh, on your specific uh, field. Uh, but one thing that you can consider is hire maybe a middleweight or senior designer by the hour and uh, kind of uh, help you push uh, uh, the vision to a next level. So this can be really useful in order for you to maybe redesign the app if uh, the MVP stage wasn't good, uh, which is something that they notice it's, it's very common. Uh, with, with my clients who are looking to then scale and really bring it uh, uh, to the next level. And uh, this can be yeah, either a collaboration by the hour, you can have a retainer or even full time. It really depends on the company. If your competitors have exceptional designs and user experiences, um, you're probably going to need to at least match that. But we all know that you want to do even better. so. That's uh, definitely something to consider. So that would be phase two. I wouldn't really try to like spend too much on it. Um, there's also unlimited design services out there, such as the ones uh, uh, by many pixels, design, design pickle. Um, but those usually are more focused on graphic design. Uh, I also offer something similar. So if you're interested, uh, feel free to get in touch with me. I'm leaving some links in the description. But essentially, the really next thing that uh, uh, you want to focus on is to bring the app uh, design to the next level. And then in phase three, which is uh, usually where most companies never make it, but 
uh, that's, that's essentially the phase where you want to build up a design team, uh, set up design systems, have uh, very clear documentation. But those are things which uh, I personally would recommend you to focus on like from the start. So it's always important to approach these things in steps. And uh, this is a very high level um, pattern, which I noticed. And uh, that's, that's basically where I would uh, uh, focus uh, uh, both time and investments in these different three phases. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope it was helpful and uh, I'll see you in the very next one.